Uh, are you concerned at all about getting the front line, the centers and the wingmen into into a scoring mode here? You know, because you got five of your first seven at home. Yeah. And last year you got off to a horrible start. Mm -hmm. And I, this question's flying all over everywhere. Yeah. But you can take whatever one you want to. That you, with five of seven at home, you've got to score. 10, 12 points, I would think. Yeah. No, I mean, I think games. that we know, um, and strictly from experience speaking, last season, uh, you know, we, we were playing catch up the whole year. Um, I think our guys, I couldn't be more proud of the way our guys finished the second half of that of last year. Um, I thought we were a team that no one wanted to face um, heading down the stretch run of uh, the regular season. Ultimately, we fell short of the playoffs. But uh, I think um, with our young core, you know, we still, these guys have been together for, I think, you know, maybe. Some of them have been here. This is Nathan McKinnon's third year. Uh, Gabe, Matt Duchesne, guys like that, they've been here four or five years now. Um, so we're looking for, for those type of guys to eventually take the next step. Um, but, you know, Joe speaks to this um, from an experience, his experiences as a player. And, uh, you know, psychologically, I think that it, it might have been, you know, indirectly a good thing for our guys to have a tough year. They understand, some of the young guys now in particular, how hard it is at the NHL level. Um, you know, the injury to Varley to start last season didn't help things. Um, coming off a season like he had before, I think, you know, he was practically a brick wall in the net back there. And to not have that behind our guys to start the year um, helped contribute to our slow start. But I think psychologically our guys are in a different place this year. So directly concerned about scoring. I don't think, I mean, if, if we're winning one nothing, I think that we're all going to be happy. Um, we're in the toughest division in hockey. Um, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a tough year no matter what just because of the competition that's around. Um, but uh, I love our young core. I love, I love their work ethic. I love who they are as people. And uh, I think they're only going to get better going forward. Patrick Wan is first year on the bench. Coach of the year. Second year on the bench, not so good. <coughs> um, what does this year mean for Patrick? How important is this year for Patrick to prove his mettle? Uh, you know, maybe individually to Patrick, uh, I'm sure it means something. Patrick is as competitive as a person as you'll come across in this world. I think everyone knows that, um, you know, based on his, who he was as a player and what they've seen out of him as a coach as well. Um, you know, these things, they do take time. Um, we're, we're, this will be year three. It's a big year for all of us. Uh, it'll be my third year uh, in my, my position with the club as well. And uh, I think we're all looking to, to make, a, make a jump, get back to the playoffs and try and make some noise. Um, but at the same time, I think that we're all very realistic about who we are as a team. And, uh, you know, we know that there's still areas that probably need to be addressed going forward. And uh, we're going to try to address those as fast as we can. But for Patrick in particular, you know, I'm sure he's looking for personally to have a bounce back year um, because that's just who he is. And that's, that's what we want behind our bench.